Welcome along guys, I am in Greece on the BMW Moto Rad Greece Short Adventure Tour and it is incredible. Feast your eyes. Corinthian Canal, where we are now, then down on this coastal piece. Oh, <laughs> same sort of thing, yeah. But yeah, go on. Yeah, Oh wow, there's going to be a lot of wows in this video, wow! Who's up for a boat trip? Not as bad is it? About 10 k's he says, a fair old trip. So I'm going to go off ahead now, on my own, just to uh, get a bit of footage of everyone coming under this big rock overhang. It's going to be quite an impressive rock overhang, so I'm going to go off about 10 k's in this direction. It's in the sat-nav, and uh, set up and record them all coming through. Lovely little lunch there, bit of moussaka, real Greek moussaka, very nice actually. I have to say, Mrs. Chop, sorry, it was better than your moussaka. <laughs> Probably due to the freshness of the ingredients, nothing to do with her cooking ability, I'm sure. 24 degrees now, the weather is absolutely scorching. But still nice, it's not too hot. 24 degrees is, again, it's, it's perfect riding weather really, isn't it? A little bit hot when you stood about, you know, you're riding gear, but actually rolling. Perfect. So what we're looking for is a big rock overhang that goes across the entire road. Almost sort of like half a cave. I don't think we're going to miss it when we get to it. Look at this bit of road here. Oh yeah. This is nice. Oh lovely. Lovely little switch back. Oh, look at this, incredible. Now we're talking. Careful, it can be a bit glitty. Hey, yeah. Look at this bit of road. This is, look at this, this is a wow again. Absolute wow. Incredible. Again, a different sorts of roads. This reminds me of the Pyrenees a little bit, this. Very Pyrenees-like. Oh, this must be the best stretch of road Nigel's ever been on, he was talking about. He mentioned there's an absolutely fantastic stretch of road. This is obviously it. I really should have had the 360 camera on. Look at the views. Wow, look at the look at the oh, look at it up there. It's just absolutely amazing the scenery around here. And chaps. Mm. Just look at that up there. Wow. <laughs> absolutely wow. Why didn't I set the 360 up for this little bit? <laughs> That's a tighty. <laughs> you don't want to go over there. Look at that, it's incredible. Oh, this is amazing. Here it is. Here's the overhang. So we go to the other side of this and set up and wait for him to come through. Look at this. That is amazing. I think we're set up here. Oh, wow. Absolute 
Wow. I'm just awaiting the flyby. They're all going to come through in a minute. I'm going to record them coming through, but I just had to get the camera out and say, look at this. It's incredible. What a place to ride a motorcycle. Absolutely unbelievable. Look down here. Look at the mountains. I can hear them coming. A bit of sinkage. Oh, just replace the SD card. The only downfall with the 360 camera is it sucks up storage like nobody's business. It's 5.4K, so of course, 5.4. It's already got 128 gig memory card, but even with that, that's the morning's riding and it's full. <laughs> it doesn't take much. This section for these mountains reminds me very much of the Pyrenees maybe even more spectacular than some of the Pyrenees stuff I saw. I've only been once, may not have seen the best of the Pyrenees, but for me, I don't remember it being as grand as this. This is just absolutely fantastic. I've done a Pyrenees tour on the Super Duke, me and Womble, Womble and his Tuono, me on the Super Duke, so I will put a card to it, because it's a couple of years old, that tour, but we had a scream on that tour covered some ridiculous mileages <laughs> in a day and I complain about my bottom quite a lot but if you want to watch it it's a great tour that I'll, I'll put a card up for those new subscribers who haven't seen it incredible it's a definite another wow for Greece uh, there's another overhang here Have thought Greece was a riding destination like this. I mean, oh, so much better than I could possibly have imagined. I'm gonna shut up and just let you enjoy this. Chance would be a fine thing. Incredible, incredible. Incredible. Absolutely amazing. I've just spotted our road where we're going to be coming down there in a minute. Yeah, maybe. Oh, the body bit. Look at that. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, wow. <laughs> Absolutely wow. And just look of what we've got coming up here. I'll say it again. I can't believe the variety 
of roads which are available in Greece to ride on. And this is just the paved stuff. Imagine if you were throwing in some dirt tracks as well. Even paved road riding, it's an incredibly diverse amount of roads and scenery. The country really is motorcycling mecca. It's unbelievable. That backdrop, oh, it's almost like a green screen. It's incredible. Hello, what is she doing? He doing? Shooting. He's shooting stuff. <laughs> Hopefully not BMW riders. I bet he's well pleased. We've scared all the wildlife away now. I've seen a few people with that orange vest on, obviously shooting. A lot of hunting going on. Yeah. Don't shoot me, please. I'm not a wildebeest. There's another one. I don't know too impressed. <laughs> Scaring away the game. Good. Don't shoot it. Look at that. Wow. It's another wow moment. Is that becoming annoying? <laughs> Sorry. Absolutely incredible, isn't it? Look at the forest. Didn't imagine such a rich forest in Greece, really, I suppose. I imagined it more barren, less fertile than this. I mean, we've been on this windy road for, oh, I don't know, a long time. I'd say 20 kilometres or so, just of this winding, mountainous road. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It goes on forever. Looking at the clock, it's, it's three o'clock. It's 20 degrees up here, so perfect riding temperature. Almost three in the afternoon, and we still have another 134 kilometres of riding to do. ETA back at the hotel is 5.05 so there's plenty of riding left yet. We're probably going to have one more stop for coffee and then blat out the miles back to the back to the hotel but you cannot say you're certainly not shortchanged on how much riding you're doing. Plenty of it of extremely high quality as well. We have not been on a main road once today, I don't think. Well, we've just come out of the mountains now. Well, still coming out of the mountains. Literally done about an hour and 15 minutes just on those twisty roads constantly. The whole time. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable with incredible scenery, incredible views. I mean, look, it's still incredible views. It's just everywhere, you almost switch off to it in the end. It's just amazing everywhere you look. Amazing overload, <laughs> I think is the problem. But yeah, it's, it's, it's incredible, absolutely amazing. So we're heading down. I think we've got about half an hour and we've got another coffee stop. I think everyone is starting to feel it a bit now. And I think, well, it's up as five and I think it still says we've got 117 kilometers to go until we get back to the hotel so there's a lot of riding still left to do we ain't done yet now what are we doing i don't fancy going down there nige after you nige i'm not going down there did you almost go straight on did you almost go straight on <laughs> <laughs> i see some little skid marks there nigel you all right do you want to push or you're right A steep one, isn't it? You got it? That's it, lovely. I think Nigel nearly went for an expedition down there then. Cancel. Yeah, I think we're about 25 minutes away from coffee. And I must say, I really could use a coffee. This sort of riding is very mentally demanding. That's the thing with it. It takes a 
it takes a lot of concentration around these gritty little switchbacks like this. It's quite hard going. It's amazing, it's a beautiful scenery, but it does take it out of you. So I'm quite looking forward to stopping and having a, a splash of coffee. What on earth is that? <laughs> Christ only knows. And maybe he doesn't even know. Oh, we've got some goats. Afternoon. Oh. I scared him. It's all right, goaties, don't panic. Six goats, that is a wealthy man. Oh. Ready for a coffee, I know that much. There we go, coffee consumed, much needed. It's actually good coffee from that place, actually. It's, it's been a struggle to find good coffee. <laughs> Finally managed it. But now, basically, I think we need to hit the hit the motorway a little bit now. We've still got 100 kilometres to get back to the hotel and it is half past four. So I think we're going to come out of here, turn right, a little bit of twisty road and then join the motorway and blast the motorway home. But it's been a, a fantastic day of riding. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's breathtaking. Greece has been breathtaking today. It, it's taken my breath away with the beauty of the place, the roads, just everything, amazing. No idea what tomorrow has in store. We're heading back to Athens tomorrow. So we'll be going on the north coastal route. There's still gonna be some fantastic roads involved. Have a look at this. This is the first bit of culture of the day. Morning. This is the oldest known civilized mm. settlement in Greece. Morning! Morning! The Lion Gate. Morning! Absolutely beautiful. Morning! Bought your own dog, that's quite impressive. Morning! Mr. Magoo, I think that was. Up, up, up! We are going up. Morning! No. Okay. <laughs> I just had to turn the camera back on <laughs> because we just ended up on this fantastic fast bit of road. Everybody else is left behind. Me and Nigel are blatting. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. Incredible, incredible stretch of road. Oh, what an incredible days riding. Absolutely love it. See you later guys. See you tomorrow.